and welcome to this demonstration. The intent is to show you how to enable auto DOP for use with parallel execution. In this first part of a set of two demonstrations, you'll see how the Oracle Optimizer chooses the best execution plan based on two of the primary parameters that influence auto DOP. To begin, Let's look at two parameters that have an impact on how auto DOP behaves. The parallel degree policy parameter controls how auto DOP functions. Uh, the default setting of manual means that auto DOP is disabled right now. The parallel min time threshold parameter determines the minimum elapsed time for which uh, parallel execution is going to be considered by the optimizer. The default setting of auto is equivalent to about 10 seconds. Now we'll go ahead and turn on auto DOP. And then next we'll connect uh, as the SH user uh, and generate an execution plan for a single table scan during a select. But first, let's just check to see uh, if there's a DOP setting for sales. And there is not, the degree uh, parameter is set to default. So let's, uh, let's set a DOP of 4 on sales, and then just make sure uh, that that's taken. And there we go. So now the degree value for sales is 4. So let's go ahead and generate the execution plan, and let's take a look at the results. Now, as we can see, the optimizer has selected serial execution. Uh, notice a DOP of 1 is shown in the note at the bottom of the plan uh, table output. With auto DOP enabled, the optimizer is going to choose the execution plan with the lowest cost, regardless of any DOP settings for specific tables. And in this case, uh, the cost or the elapsed time of serial execution, which we can see is about 6 seconds, this is lower than the cost of parallel execution given the, the value for the parallel min time threshold parameter, right? Remember, we set it to auto, and uh, that's effectively 10 seconds. So now, we're going to go ahead and reduce the minimum time threshold parameter, and then we're going to run the same uh, single table scan again to see whether parallel execution is chosen. So we can see that auto DLP is on, uh, the time threshold is set to auto, so let's change that now to one second. Let's go ahead and log into the SH schema, and now we'll go ahead and generate a new execution plan. And we'll take a quick look. So now this time we see parallel execution has been selected. The optimizer determined that the elapsed time for parallel is now less than the serial execution. Notice uh, the uh, parallel execution should take place in four seconds. In addition, the optimizer has determined that a DOP of two had the least cost, even though we set a DOP of four on the sales table itself. Now, this is the end of this demonstration. Please move on to the next demonstration to continue.